across NASL and USL. Courts originally called the Railhawks. As this shot off the post! And the goal off the rebound! I said, lock in early! And what a moment for this team! It was Lucas Delarosa with the opening strike. So how does North Carolina FC react? See the scores around the fields here. As this strikes in the top corner. And there's my answer. What a moment from Brian Shriver. Being put together by AJ Dela Garza currently leading the Jackson Boom. As that requires a touch from Nick Platter. Steele now with the shot. He's done everything but score so far this tournament. Well, check that one off the list for Cameron Steele. Raising their voices in support. This ball stuck in. It's bouncing down in the box and cleared away. It'll come up on Sunday. But this is the final match of day one. The second of the group stage. That stinging drive from Duverney. Saved by Pickett. The last match of the tournament to play. So the local fans coming out to support everyone who's here for this night session. Coming around as Schuler trying to create space. The shot blocked out. The second opportunity. And we've got the equalizer. Less than 30 seconds into this second half. And Michael Palacio ties it up. An opportunity for North Carolina to make some subs. They do not have to wait for the ball to be out of play or a dead ball. You can sub on the fly in the run of play, but your player has to come off the field before the substitute's allowed to come on from that midfield line. And an opportunity here, the one-two. And you see what it means to Kobeljar. He's been battling since this game started. Under the lights, the final match of this day of action. FF and Jackson Boom on the field next to us, about to enter target score time. It's Del Rosario fights Steele, and Steele doubles the lead. As a group, they are used to. Adjusting to some odd rules, they are a two-time Omega Ball champion. A game in which you have three goals and three teams on the field at the same time. And this time, there's only one opponent, and North Carolina FC says we're not going to go quietly into the night. Jackson Boom trying to come back in the target score time. Keep you updated on that one. Ibiaga's cross played in. A chance, and Austin to lose. The club legend coming back for one last run. Robbie Cristo battling. Duvernay brings the support. He doesn't get there quick enough. The ball's still alive, and Steele almost has his hat trick. The 41-year-old. Comes out of retirement. A huge save by him, but only for a moment. As Robbie Cristo, the former North Carolina FC player, refuses to celebrate against his team. A connection there. Now Jensen, he's got to make the long run back. All the way up the other side of the field. Schuler's shot is saved. Perkinson off the face. North Carolina needs two goals unanswered to steal the three points. Raleigh, just a single strike. And they will move to first place in the group going into the final game. Space here to create. Deleuze has his second. It's over the line. And we are in next goal win territory. Wilkinson restarts play quickly. Jensen here. Is this the moment? It's knocked through the box and cleared away to Chipoline. Not able to get it under control. 
Al Badawi now. Waiting for runners, his strike easily handled by Perkinson. Ackley, knocked away by Jensen. Dominic Jensen, one of the performances of the tournament. Kobozar for the winner! He's played with a chip on his shoulder. He's been on the ground time and again. Physical battles. His second goal of the game.